Hello friends, myself Rakesh. I welcome you to UiPath Expo Hub. Today we are going to learn PDF automation. I do upload videos daily. Please do subscribe to the channel and please like the video. That would help the channel. And your one like makes a world of difference to me. The very first step in PDF automation is enable Adobe settings for PDF automation. So first you open Adobe Reader, press Ctrl K, go to reading and ensure reading order is selected to recommended methods which is by default will be there in case that is changed ensure that is selected. The second one is page versus document. Here you should select read the entire document. And the next thing that you have to do, you have to uncheck this box. Confirm before tagging the document should be unchecked. Next, click on accessibility and ensure these two checkboxes are checked. Click OK. Now, the second step is install PDF packages. For that, you have to go to manage packages. Click on all packages and here type uipath.pdf so if you put a space this activity may not appear ensure you type uipath.pdf and hit on install as i have already installed it it is not showing me so once you install hit on save once you have installed the package just type pdf you will see all these activities will be listed in your UI path. So we will start with read PDF text. In the read PDF text, you need to select the file. I have selected the file. On the right hand side, you have something called output text. Here you can create a variable control plus K and set a variable for it. Now once the variable is set, you can use a message box or you can use a write text activity. Declare the variable. Now here in the write text file, it is asking for the file. Let me select the file. Okay. Once the file is selected, I'm expecting it to read the PDF. So this is the PDF. This PDF has got the upper part is completely text. You can see the mouse can be clicked. So all of this are text, but the down part of the PDF is a image. Now when you select read PDF, if you want to read the entire PDF, you can mention all. You want to read only one, then say one. You want to read one to four, one to five, mention one to five. In our case, let me read only one, the first page. Let us run it and see how it comes. Okay, the output has come in the message box and the problem here is it was able to extract all the text until here. You can see that, right? The last word is here, but it cannot extract the image, right? The image has not been extracted. Only the texts were extracted. Wherever I can click and the mouse pointer is there, all these things has been extracted, but this one was not extracted. Now to extract the image, there is another activity that's called read PDF with OCR. Here you need to select the file. Let me select the file. So once you have selected the file, you can see still there is an error because this requires a OCR engine. Type OCR 
and highlight the engine you will find all these engines are available let me tell you earlier versions had google ocr now the google ocr is named as test act ocr okay the google engine uses the test act technologies and this is the google ocr in fact and microsoft ocr you have ab ocr and lot many uh, in case you would like to install them you can install the packages but for our example we'll be using the google ocr or the test act ocr so you can see the error has gone and here in the output i am going to use the previously created variable text variable all right let's run it and see if the image from the pdf is coming this time or not all right now you can see from here all the text inside the image file has been extracted using the ocr activity ocr is optical character recognition which has been used here to extract data from the image so guys we have learned the third thing is how to extract bulk text and how to extract text from the image i hope this is clear until now now the next thing that we are going to learn is using screen scraping to extract the text so for that click on screen scraping select the element from where you would like to scrape the data or the text i am selecting this element so you can see that it did not recognize the element so for that go to scraping method and here select let's say native and refresh it even the native method has failed then let's go for the full text which is the default method even the full text has failed now we will use the ocr and here i am using the microsoft ocr to see if the optical character recognition mic from microsoft is able to recognize this text or not you can see that the ocr method failed so now the best part is i will use the google ocr and see if that works you can see the google ocr is able to detect all the text so different ocr normally for microsoft applications you can use the microsoft ocr google uh, so you have to test it you know depending on the file depending on the environment which ocr is the best ocr is something is a trial and hit method you can try and see which one works for you so we have learned the basic uses of ocr so this is the first training topic on pdf automation and we will continue the series with multiple and many more pdf automation related activities and videos will come please do subscribe to our channel and please please do like the video that will help thank you very much you have a wonderful day